Land! Land, damn it! Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted Today. We are checking out the Aura by Gesture Robotics. You are the controller, you have the power. You know a product's good when it has a cheesy tagline like that. Now the Aura is a small drone controlled with a glove and I'm already kind of worried because according to the box, this thing automatically takes off and rises to a height of 1.2 meters. It might take out a few lights. Luckily this thing does come with a safety frame so if anything does go bad, hopefully none of us lose an eye. So so some of the features that the Aura can do include auto flip, auto hover, headlock mode, whatever that is, I think the back explains it, automatically maintains orientation for the perfect flight. It also includes auto takeoff and auto landing. So all in all, not bad features. Inside the box, we get the instructions. We get the drone and we get the glove in a plastic bag just here. I just noticed while I open this up, there's actually a few other features on the side of the box, which include six access gyro stabilization, 360 flip, seven meters control range, and designed for indoor flight, which fills me with just a tad more confidence. Just a tad bit. It's going to die. So here is the drone itself, and it is just a basic standard cheap drone. It looks kind of flimsy. It'll probably break quite easily, but luckily it has the cage so it may prevent that just a bit. I imagine the battery life on this thing is quite terrible but I haven't checked but I can assume it's probably gonna have about like 20 minutes of charge on it if that. And then you've got your glove and the glove control. One kind of annoying thing about this setup is the fact that the glove control and the drone itself come with lithium ion batteries but it only gives you one charger. That's double the charging time for us which is always annoying. So the glove control sits on the glove and just sits on the back of your hand like that. Then you've got a battery compartment on the side there, which then connects up to the drone control and then you're golden. Let's go ahead and check if it has any charge to begin with, but I think it's not gonna. Is it flashing? Hey, it's flashing. Fingers crossed we can get one flight out of it before Four, we have to charge it again, but let's see what happens. There's a light flashing. That's always a good sign. Now I haven't moved the lighting yet, so this may go terribly, but let's give this a go. Take off. Oh shit. oh shit. No, no, come back, come back, come back. Control it with your hands. I'm trying. Land. Land, damn it. It's landing, it's landing. It, it's just, it's hidden. I'll get it. Shh, shh. You're landing, you're landing, you're landing, you're landing, landing. So after reviewing the manual, which is really something I should have done before hitting takeoff originally, the controls for this thing is actually quite cool. Basically, if you want to keep the drone level, you have to keep your hand flat. If you want it to go forwards, tilt your hand forwards, make it go backwards, tilt your hand backwards. If you want to change the height of it, you have to hold down the button on the side, which is attached to the battery compartment, and then tilt your hand down to make it go down, tilt your hand up to make it go up. If you want to turn it left or right, just turn your hand left or right, hold down the button, turn your hand left, it will do a flip to the left, hold it down, turn it to the right, we'll do a flip to the right. I have a feeling the flips are gonna go horrendously wrong, but we're gonna try them out. It's as simple as that, but for me, the struggle is keeping my nerves when there's a drone flying in front of me, because I always just have a natural instinct to be like, no, stay away, which in this circumstance would make it fly towards my face. I've got to say that the most impressively designed thing which comes with this product has to be the glove. Like, it just reminds me of Spy Kids. Like the fact that it has the wires exposed, it has a little button you can press on here, just all of it just screams cheesy budget spy film. Wait for it to connect, looks good. And now I'm gonna hit take off and I'm not gonna panic. It's not gonna fly off into the corner of the room. Three, two, one, take off. Okay, hand steady, go low, low. Oh, 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 well, I can't see it, it's behind the lights. Up, up, it won't talk to the glove. Could you just grab that? Thank you. The LED glove says it's ready to go. The drone says it's ready to go. So this time we shouldn't have any problems. Though we're definitely gonna have some problems because that's just the way things go, especially on this channel. Take off. Okay, steady, steady, down. Hey, oh, oh, not towards Ben. No. Come to me, yes. Hey, boy. Well, that's my crutch, that's my crutch. Out from under the table, up. Oh no. <sighs> Flight number three and I feel like is probably Gonna be the worst one. Okay, steady, down, down, whoop, whoop. All right, this is actually feeling pretty good. I feel like I have a lot more control over it. Back towards me. Oh, okay, I have no control, and there it goes. It seems like every single time you crash it, you need to unplug it and plug it back in to restart it, which is a bit of a pain. I wish I could just go straight back into flying it. As you can see, we've cleaned the area, so it's now a little bit more presentable. Only a little bit. Connecting, 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 connected. This time, we're doing a flip. If we don't get a flip, and we'll be very disappointed, and this video is gonna end in tears. No, no. It's a good thing you have a cage on, Jesus. Oh, yes! 
Yeah! All right, okay, I got it now. Hold the button down, rotate hands. Hey! Look at that. That, sir, is fun. That was the smoothest ride so far. What are the chances after that two minute ride that the battery is pretty much depleted? I don't know why one of the uh, propellers is still going. The other ones aren't. It doesn't want to lift off. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Yes, Ben. I'm British. That's the first thing I do. It is a bit fiddly. I would hope for like a kid's toy that it would be really, really straightforward. Now let's try and get around this sea stand, shall we? Oh no. Eh? Hey! Finally, I'm achieving something in the video. And towards Ben. Get him, boy! You're trapped, Ben! There's nowhere to run! I'm not gonna swat it out the sky. I panicked. <laughs> it's like being attacked by a swarm of bees, but there's only one of them and it's quite big. It is quite... I was about to say it's quite intuitive and then for some reason it decided to die and fall out of the sky. <laughs> obviously with this kind of drone there's some flaws, obviously the battery life isn't great, the build quality isn't fantastic, but this control though obviously quite a bit of a gimmick, it's fun. If someone gave it to me as a gift I wouldn't decline but I, I wouldn't go ahead and just buy it for myself. I'd say it'd be great for kids because it has the cage on but I can still imagine them somehow hurting themselves with this kind of thing. Or other people. Or other people, or you know, priceless artifacts around your house. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Loot. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We've even got my own personal Twitter, which you can follow me on there. Also, be sure to hit the little alarm bell if you want to get notifications when we upload new videos. If you want to support the channel further, check out our Patreon page. We've got new perks on there, and we're also planning some Patreon exclusive live streams. So check that out. Chat with us directly on Discord. Link in the description. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.